Am I on? Yep. All right. Make sure to. Okay. All right. Here we are. Field Crestwood. Big dual meet here. All right, we have a big Gene O'Capone as our rep tonight. Okay, I, I, this is 182 pounds. Jake Lawhorn versus Kenny Jackson. That is what I was told we were starting at 182. Thank you. Yep, Lawhorn and Jackson, 182. All right, this... Uh, you know, this is a dual meet Field's been waiting for. They finally have their team together. They've had injuries all year. They finally got it together here, and they, they can spoil Crestwood's season. Uh, Crestwood loses this. They're going to have to win the dual meet tournament and, and hope for a few things just to even be co-champions. Field's here to win this match. I know. I've talked to the coaches, and I've talked to Crestwood's coaches, and they're worried about it. No score here, a minute to go, first period. Lawhorn and Jackson. Kenny Jackson's a state-ranked wrestler by Burrow fan, and he's a good wrestler. He's, only, uh, he's a junior, I think. You know, these dual meets are what I wrestled when I was in high school. It wasn't all tournaments like it is now. No score. 40 seconds to go, first period. There hasn't really been a whole lot of offense yet. There's a outside single by Lawhorn. He's got it. No, and Jackson gets out of it. And there's out of bounds, Five. stalling on Crestwood. Both of them. All right, that's the end of the first period, no score. You know, these, these matches like this are going to be the ones that decide this dual meet, this and who pins who. When we get into the lower weights, there's going to be studs, wrestling studs. There's a switch attempt by Lawhorn, blocked real efficiently by Jackson. Jackson on top, he's trying to cradle, nothing there. Lawhorn trying to get up. Good riding by Jackson. He's, he's got Lawhorn completely flat on the mat. And I know uh, the referee in this match doesn't take kindly to stalling. But he will let him wrestle. And Lawhorn gets back to his base. Try, he get, gets up and won a point, one nothing. First point scored by Lawhorn. All right, a minute to go. Second period, one to nothing. Jake Lawhorn from field over Kenny Jackson, Crestwood. No score in the dual meet. This is our first match. There's another single leg by Lawhorn. Jackson fights it off. Try that front headlock. Trying it. He's going to try to spin around. He does get the leg. Nothing yet. He's got a cradle locked up. Jackson. Gets the two and Lawhorn is on his back. Boy, pins are gonna matter here. Lawhorn fights off his back. I don't think it, two back points were awarded. That makes it four to one. 20, 20 seconds to go, second period. It's gonna be four to one once all the score and all this goes out. Lawhorn needs an escape here. Make it four to two. 
Got 16 seconds to go, first period. He doesn't get up right away. Now he's trying, he's up. Hand fighting. Uh-oh, nothing. Looks like uh, Jackson's gonna ride him out. It's gonna be the end of the second period. Four to one's our score, Jackson Crestwood. Ooh, stalling. Four, two, there's a stalling point on Jackson. Well, <laughs> we've been here before. <laughs> what are you laughing about, John? <laughs> you know we've been here before. <laughs> well, you know what, though? Uh, Mr. Capone's uh, one of the best refs in the state. He'll, he will call it both ways. That makes it 5-2. A quick escape by Jackson. There's a shot, no points. All right, they're tied up here. Look like a throw attempt by the field kid. And he gives up the two. Makes it seven to two, Jackson. You know, I really didn't expect Field to win this match, but he needs to keep it to a regular decision. These bonus points are gonna be big. No points yet. A minute 20 to go in the match. Seven to two, Jackson over Lawhorn. There's seven to three now. Lawhorn's tried that throw earlier and it backfired on him. Looks like he might be trying it again. There's another outside shot, nothing there. Front headlock by Jackson. Now back to the double underhooks. Stalemate called, seven to three, 39 seconds to go. Jackson Crestwood in the gray over Lawhorn Field in the black, red, and white. Jackson's gonna be trying to throw. He tries another headlock. Down by four, seven to three. He's put, got the pressure on Jackson. There the there's a single leg by Jackson. There's two, making it nine to three. That's gonna be the match. We got 10 seconds to go. It's gonna be a nine to three match. Jackson over Lawhorn. All right, we'll see what happens here in our 195 pound match. We got Mike Hedick from field versus Cox from Crestwood. Hedick uh, was a district qualifier last year. I'm not sure about Cox. I think he might have been. Field needs some bonus points in this match if they're going to stay in it, in my opinion. There's a nice high crotch by Hedick. He's trying to lift Cox up. He takes him down. There's two. A lot of action here. Like most wrestling fans, I don't I don't think I need to describe every th little thing that goes on. You know what it is. Two nothing to our score, a minute 24 to go in the first period. And there's a switch attempt. Headache fights it off. All 
I know Fields looking for bonus points in this match. Uh, Crestwood's up 3-0 right now in our dual meet. Here's a quick stand up by Cox. Out of bounds, so I'll tell you what, another one of them and uh, the field wrestler is gonna get called for stalling. Quick stand up. Head, headache picks up, Cox. Throws in a boot, nothing there yet. There's a escape by Jackson, makes it two to one. 14 seconds to go, first period. All right, Cox chooses down, Hedick on top, two to one. It's a big match here. Cox is up instantly. Hedick keeps him in bounds, tries to throw a leg in. There's a stalling. Stalling and a reverse, no, no reversal, but there was a stalling call on Hedick. That's his second one, next one's a point. Well, that's one thing about uh, our referee here tonight. He's, in my opinion, he's one of the best I've been around. You know what? He lets everybody know yep. what his calls are. Yep. And if you don't like it, you don't like it. Actually, uh, I see nothing wrong with it. Uh, I think I mentioned it earlier. If he did try to do that again, there was going to be a stall call. Yep. Well, this is two to one here, a minute and 26 seconds to go, second period. Two to one, Hedick Field over Cox, Crestwood. And this is a big match in this dual meet. All right, they're getting ready to start combating each other again. And Hedick's gonna gonna give them the escape, make a tie score. Two two. There's a high crotch attempt by Cox. Hedick, Hedick has got the double unders. He's running, trying to double.
There it is. Cox gets in on a double leg. Nothing. Now he switches to a single. Haddock reverses. Gets a two. Makes it four to two. 30 seconds to go. Second period. All right, 4-2, second period, 15 seconds to go. Haddock over Cox. Three other dual meet score, second match. It's going to be a good one. Quick sit out. Looks like Haddock's going to hold him off. All right, Haddock's choice. He chooses down. Start of the third period. 4-2 their score. It's a big match here in this duel. And now it's 5-2. As Cox decides to go neutral. There's a high crotch. Cox got it. Headache sprawls down and gets the two, making it seven to two. Looking for bonus points here, a minute and a half to go in the match. Still make called by the ref. A quick stand up, escape by Cox, making it seven to three. 50 seconds to go in a match. There's a double leg attempt. And as Hedick has done three times in this match, he spins around behind and gets the takedown. Nine to three. Them three back points, if he could get them, would make this a major decision. Field needs the bonus points, in my opinion. Stalemate, 14 and a half seconds to go. Nine to three. Haddock in the black, red, and white. Cox in the gray. <coughs> Looks like that's what it's gonna end up. Cox is just, uh, Trying to run the clock out, I think, not getting up. Oh, he does sit out. Two seconds, that's the match right there. Nine to three, Haddock over Cox. You know, Jim, these next matches are gonna be real important. We have Woodward from Field and Batty Est from Crestwood. All right, that's, I don't know exactly how to pronounce his name, but. Uh, Field needs to pick up some bonus points in these matches because when when you look at Crestwood's lineup from 113 to 145, 138, Field needs bonus points because Crestwood is really tough there. And then Field needs to not, oh, there's a forfeit. Field forfeits 220. 
Okay, we have Smith from field and more do. Huh? Testa? Okay. Testa got the forefoot. All right. Hey, who's this here? Is this more do? But this is, okay, he jumped up the heavyweight. Okay. All right, we have Batiste against Woodward. Or Smith at at 285. Am I right? Batiste against Smith. All right, 2 0 field, Smith. You know, he looked, uh, Smith looked good. Oh, there's an injury here. Smith looked pretty good at uh, Top Gun. Uh, he Smith was injured last year, broke his ankle, I think, and. Uh, Lost a, lost a season, and I hope for good things for him. Can he get out of the Alliance District? I doubt it, but he can get there. And you know what? I say these things hoping kids make me wrong. Yes, uh, the referee's st stating that because now after your second injury timeout, the opponent gets his choice of starting. That's going to be two to one. Smith and ba Batiste. Smith is a bigger man here. He's a bigger man and he's going after it. Try, going to try a throw here, I think. No, no points. No points. Good movement by both wrestlers. Here's a... Now, one thing I did see about Smith at Top Gun is he's a he's a head and arm guy. He just tried it here. Uh, I see Crestwood's coaches are telling him don't tie up with him. Two to one's our score, 30 seconds to go, first period. All right, there's a stall point for Field. He's gonna try to throw. All right, we have blood time here. We've got 10 seconds to go, first period. Three to one's our score. Smith from field over Batiste Crestwood. Batiste has jumped up from 220 in this match. Nine to three is our dual meet score with that forfeit at 220 that uh, Crestwood got. That's gonna hurt the Falcons, I think. We'll find out. There are going to be some tough matches, but boy, forfeits in a dual meet like this are not good. All right, back to action. That's the end of the period. Three to one, Smith. Field. All right, we're going to have a for the throw. 
Lock and hands makes it three to two. All right, he's going to tie it up here. They're going to let him up. 3-3, three, three, a minute 51 to go, second period. The field coaches think that they're, we're going to get a throw here. Smith, well, he's been trying the whole match. He is definitely the bigger man. Got double unders. Oh, there's the throw. You know what? No points. No points. Oh, boy. They're going at it. There's the two. No back, though. Five to three. Good match. Good match. Blood time again. Oh, they give him two back. It's going to make it seven to three. No, I went to some Smiths from field, and they were big guys, too. I just wonder if this is a relative. Well, you know how it is in us inbred neighborhoods. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. There ain't no inbred, but we're, you know what? Just a uh, community that always stays around, just like Rootstown. Here we go. All right, back to the match. Seven to three, a minute 13 to go, second period. And they're going to let him up, make it seven to four. There's a double leg by Batiste, making it seven to six. Smith uh, trying to get up instantly, out of bounds. Going to takedowns again. Blood time again, we got a bloody nose. All right, we're getting back to the action here. Eight to six, our score, a minute to go. Second period. Smith, Field over Batiste, Crestwood. There's a, another double leg and a takedown attempt. Two, and then uh, no reversal. 8-8, eight, eight. 40 seconds to go. We got a match here, don't we? All right. And they're gonna let him up, make it 9-8. Smith over Batiste. I think that, that uh, Crestwood is thinking they're wearing him out and there's another double leg try.
There's another double leg, and Smith tries that throw. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Wow, oh, and there's two. Make it 11 to not eight. Five seconds to go, second period. All right, we got a match, don't we? More blood time. All right, we got five seconds to go, second period. Smith on top. Can he hold him down for these five seconds? Or we're both, yeah, yeah, he's on top. <laughs> Let the ref do it all. All right, here we go. Five seconds. Can you hold him for these five? Nope, it's done. All right, 11 to 8, third period. Wow. Then field. Smith chooses down. He's up 11 to 8. Huh? They're going neutral. Make it 12 8. Start of the third. Well, what we got is uh, Batiste trying to double legs in, in the shoot, and, and Smith is a bigger man. No, it was uh uh no it uh, I didn't see no points I whoa there's I think it should still be the same they're the locking hands one red's gonna make it see I didn't there was no takedown before yeah well no there was. Well, no, they gave him the two. They gave him the two. It's 15-9. Uh, they gave him the two. Yeah. That's... Yeah, it's 14-10. They messed up on it a little bit. All right, we got a minute and a half, minute 15 to go. Stalling on, on Smith. Oh, and there he goes. He gets the uh, uh -oh. two. Uh-oh. Oh, there he gets the back. No back. One, I only saw a count of one. He gets the takedown, though, 16-10. Trying to hop, power half. Batiste trying to get up. Smith throw them down. Oh, and there's back points there. There's another two. That's going to make it 18-10. 30 seconds. That makes it a major decision. Locking hands again. That's the third time. That's two points. That makes it 18-12. 13 seconds to go. 
We're less than 10 seconds to go. It looks like that's going to be the final. And it is, 18-13, Smithfield over Batiste Crestwood. Heck of a match. Good job by both wrestlers. All right, now we're going to get into these little guys, and you're going to see something here a little different than that last match. For field here, we got Corey Simpson. All right, we got Corey Simpson from Field who just come off a fifth place finish at the D's against Dooley from Crestwood. S Simpson is a freshman. Looked really good at Top Gun. He need nothing yet, no score. Two points, Simpson. Nine six is our dual meet score. Crestwood over field. We're at 106. Started at 182. Simpson's got gonna get back points here. And it looks like he's gonna get the stick. It's not there yet, though. What do we have there? Why'd they stop the action? All right, five ones on score, a minute to go, first period. Now oh, this Crestwood kid, I've seen his results all year. He is a good wrestler. Simpson's tearing him up though. Nice single leg, ankle pick. It looks like he's going to run the half. He's got the arm. There's back points. Could be over. Nope. Well, there's three back. Going to make it 10 to 1. He's still going for the pin. No, Field needs that extra point. We need the pin. All right, there we go. First period pin by Corey Simpson over Dooley. Okay. Let's see if we can hear the names here. All right. Is this the Julius and Tomatoes? All right. The Julius, Vince the Julius for Field versus Tomatoes from Crestwood. This is one where Field needs to keep the bonus points off the board. It's 12 to 9 right now. Field over Crestwood after that 109 pound or 106 pound pin by Simpson. Tomatoes, one of the top kids in the state. The Julius, one of the top kids in the area. Single leg by the Matus, lifting it up, gets a trip, two points. All right, 54 seconds to go, first period, 2-0. The made us over to Julius. Blood time field. All 
All right, 54 seconds to go, first period. 2 0s made us. He's going to kick him out, 2 1. And there's another two by the Matus. Trying to throw in the boots. Did you always fighting hard? Out of bounds. 30 seconds to go, first period, 4-1. I think there's enough commentary going on. I don't even have to say nothing for a while. Just let them wrestle. Got a good crowd here tonight, though. I have four to one, start of the second period. At least I can tell you that. Tomatoes over to Julius. Tomatoes chooses down. Oh, did you, did Julius has wrote him out so far. We got about there's the reversal there. It'll make it six one. Minute twenty, go second period. All right, we got a stalling call. They're not stalling, stalemate. 6 1 to score, 45 seconds to go, second period. 6 2. Zamatis over DeJulius. 12 9 to our dual meet score, Field over Crestwood. I think Field's trying to keep this one to a just a decision. Two now, and it, coming down to the end of the second period, it's going to be Zamatis choice. All right, eight three. Quick takedown by the Midas. The Midas, uh, I'm not 
positive. It's gonna be 10-4 now. No take down there. 10-4 minute, 30 to go, 12-4. Twelve five to score a minute to go in the match. Third period. Fourteen five. Stalemate called. 14 5 our score, 28 seconds to go in the match. Tomatoes over to Julius. All right, that's going to be our final score, 14-5. Tomatoes over the Julius. It's going to make our dual meet score, 13-12. Crestwood takes the lead. All right, we are at uh, 120 now. We Something's different here. That ain't Mayfield. There's Nemec for Crestwood. Who's this for Field? I don't know who it is. <laughs> See, we were just at the Matus. Well, yeah, it is Nemec. I don't know who the field kid is. That is that is not Mayfield. This is Sheep. Here's the Sheep kid. We got the Sheep. Yeah, the field. So we're at 120. It's Trap Troutman, probably. Or is it it's either out? Troutman or Spaller. Well, you either listen for Kenneth or Jared. I know it's not Mayfield. Mayfield's sitting over there on him. Well, we're not sure who the wrestler for field is. I know it's Connor Nemec for Crestwood. No score. Jared. Jared Troutman. Well, you know what? I went to high school with his dad, I think. It's Dennis. I went to school with them Troutmans anyway. Brothers. Yeah. Oh, really? Me and him are wrestling captains together, as a matter of fact. If, if it's Dennis. So, so Connor Namek here gets in on a single. No time left.
Dynamics up. Troutman. Dynamic tries to switch up to his feet. There's one. Makes it one nothing. Ten goal by, and two points by Connor Namick. Minutes go, second period, 3-0. Nemec over Troutman. Nemec's riding tough. One of his trademarks. Makes it 3 2 or 3 1. 30 seconds to go, second period. A shot by Troutman. Countered well by Nemec. Oh, there's another two by Nemec. He goes right on the offense, trying to get deep back points. Five ones are scored, that's what it's gonna be at the end of two. All right, five twos our score. Third period. Thirteen twelve our dual meet score. With one hundred twenty pound weight. Now we got a stall warning on Troutman. We got 40 seconds to go in the match. Five to two. Namek over Troutman. Shot by Namek. Troutman fighting it. No points. Ten seconds to go. Five two. Tell you, this is kind of looking good for Field. Yeah. Uh, even if he gives up the two here, there's 
This is a match right here. It's going to be 5-2. It's going to make it 16-12. to 12. We're coming down to it here. And uh, I don't know who uh, Crestwood's going to send out here. Logan Lott here. Who's the Crestwood kid here? Who's the Crestwood kid here? Bobby Murray. It's Murray for Crestwood against Lott. Nemec's out. Nemec just wrestled. Murray versus Lott. Okay, this is where uh, Field needs to pick up some bonus points. We're down six. Field's down 16-12 in the dual meet. Lott has just dropped down to this weight from 138. He did wrestle at Top Gun. There's a double. Single leg now. Goes to a double. Two points, Lott. Tries to throw the legs in. Gets into double legs. Double boots. He's getting back points here. A lot of time left here. This could be big. There's a pin. Wow. 59 seconds left in the first period. So 101. Lot pins Murray. That's going to make the dual meet score 18-16. All right, is this Mathia or Kibitza? Kibitza. This is Kibitza? Yeah, Kibitza. All right, we have Kibitza down at 132. I kind of thought he was going to be here for this match. And he's going to be, yeah, that's Hillier. He's wrestling a state qualifier in Hillier. Kibitza got hurt last year at the district tournament and didn't get out. It's going to be a good match here. It could be the one for all the marbles in this dual meet. Hillier himself has just dropped down from 145 to this weight. We're going to have a good one here.
Do you want me to take those off now? All right, we had a little controversy there. Uh, three team points deducted from Crestwood. 18-13 is our team score now. We have got a good match here between Kibitz Hill from Field, Hillier from Crestwood. Let's get back to wrestling. No score, a minute to go, first period. Kibitz has been off for quite a while, injured. Shot by Kibitza, good counter by Hillier. See what happens here, 40 seconds to go, first period. There's a single leg by Kibitza, and he almost gets the two. They're back in bounds, nothing. Good scramble by both kids. Kibitza gets him up, 15 seconds to go. No points. No points. Zero, zero, and a one. Good scrambling by both wrestlers. This is gonna be a exciting match. All right, Kibitz is up. Hillier gets him right back to the mat. I think I might have to start announcing a little bit after, after all this controversy. <laughs> well, you know what? I didn't want to say nothing while they were, they were talking about it because they were right in front of me. Well, and it don't matter what anyone thinks. It's what the ref does. All right, Hill, Hillier riding tough. Minute and a half to go, second period, no score. Hell, you're trying to throw a boot in, he gets, a, gets, gets in a single boot. Now he throws in a double. And he breaks Kibitza down. He's gonna start punishing him a little. Minute to go, second period, no score. Stalemate, 50 seconds. There's a switch. Switch attempt by Kibitza and nothing yet. Yeah, wow, no points. Good scrambling by both kids, so.
All right, we got 10 seconds to go. Second period, no score. Stalling on Kibitza. All right, Kibitz is not going to kick him out. He's going to try to ride him. No score. Third period. Hillier's up. Kibitz throws in his legs himself. Throws him in deep, too. Try the power half. Hillier. Kicks that leg out. All right, still may call a minute 14 to go. No score, third period. 18 13 is our dual meet score field over Crestwood. Hillier's up. Kibitska gets, goes into the single, gets him down with a semi Michigan, throws in a leg. Trying to get that cradle locked up, just can't quite do it. He's got it locked. Kibitska has the cradle locked. Is he going to get the back points out of it? Hillier breaks it. What a match for no score. There's been a lot of action. <laughs> 30 seconds to go. No score. This might be our first overtime match of tonight. Kibitz are trying to get turn him. Nothing. And Kibitz is in trouble here. There's one. If there's one. Can he get to two? Less than 10 seconds. No, he did not give him the point. I think he's got to give him the one loss of control. One point. Uh, Hillier? Hillier won nothing. You have to give it to him. You know what? He did have loss of control there. In my opinion. It looks like, uh, oh, great match. It looks like a bit might be hurt. That's all he needs. Just coming back. That's going to make it 18-16, our dual meet score. All right, we have Mathia for Field and Kager for Crestwood. And, uh, well, well, Kager finished third in the state, third or fourth, maybe fifth last year. He's real tough. And there's a dump by Kager. Mathia's on his back, half. Two zero right now. A minute thirty to go. Matthias uh, fighter. And there's a pin by. All right, that's going to change our dual meet score now to twenty-two to eighteen. Crestwood. And we're coming down to, let's we'll see, we're at 145. We started at 170, 182. So we got one, two, three, we got four more matches. These are the ones that are going to make the duel right here. All right, we have uh, Laddich for Field versus Howell. Howells. And you know what? Field needs a pen here. I've heard real good things about Howells. In fact, before the match, talking to people, they said, watch this kid. Well, I, you know what I got to say? Watch Laddich. I saw Laddish last week at Top Gun. 
Howell's the freshman. If he can hang with uh, this kid, I'll be really impressed. Field needs a pin here. Uh, the, the team points that were deducted from Crestwood are going to, they're really her nice throw by, by Laddich. No points yet. There's two. Man, he's on his back. Well, Howes is a stocky kid for a freshman. Two back points makes it 4 0. All right, our dual meet stands at 22 to 18. There's no points. Oh, oh there's back points. For Laddich. All right, that's gonna make it 6-0. You know, Field doesn't need a tech here or a major, they need a pin. The stool meat's going to come right down to it, especially with those penalty points that were taken away from Crestwood. All right, there's a tilt try by Laddich. Does it again? Nothing. Throw them the boots. All right, down to one, 6-0. Laddich over house. Laddich in the black, house in the gray. 22-18, our dual meet score. It's going to be a barn burner. It's going to come down to the last match. I guess that's what we wanted. You know what, after the... No, Laddish had a cradle locked up. Can he do something with it? There it is. I was just about to say, after the initial flurry, Howells was holding himself well. There was another quick two, make it eight, nothing. But he's still doing well. Uh, First time I've seen him, I'm impressed to make it 8 to 1 now. Getting at it here a little bit. All right, four seconds to go, second period, 8-1, Laddich over Howe. Ooh, 
that was a headbutt. All right, third period, 8-1, ladder down. Gonna let him up, make it 8-9-1. Should be 9-1. They gonna give it to him or not? All right, looked like he had it to me, but we will see. All right, 11 one. All right, howls up, make it 11 two. Minutes going to match, 11-2, Lattice over Howells. But I'll tell you what, the score is deceiving. This has been a heck of a match. Ooh, nice single, but Lattice rolls right through it. And then he gets his own. And there's two, making it 13-2. Throws in a boot. Not in there yet, though. Howell's got good defense. There he gets it in. 30 seconds to go. 20 seconds to go. 13-2. Lattice looking for the major here. Thirteen three, nineteen seconds to go. Watch the bread and proper starting position we had on the map. Boy, how's the shorter of the wrestlers here? And we're thirteen three, and there's another outside single. He's got it. Got got Laddich up high, and he nothing yet. Wow. No points. That's going to be at 13-3. You know what, though? Heck of a match. I got to applaud the freshman from Crestwood. He didn't give up that match. All right, we got Swigert for field versus Coleman. Coleman for Crestwood. And Swigert. All right, we're at timeout, tied up at 22. Wow, wow, wow. All right, them three, those three bonus points are going to make mean a lot here at the end. All right, we got Swigert and Coleman. Coleman state ranked. Swigert's been a starter for field for a couple years. No, this is Swigert. Wait. Yeah. Who, who's wrestling now? Swigert and Girardi. Okay, this is Swigert. They switched these two. Swigert and Girardi. Okay, we had a little change in it. It's not Coleman, it's Girardi, who is a really good wrestler, wrestling Swigert for field. A Girardi last year, um, I'm trying to think what weight he was. Yeah, I know he's good, district qualifier. He gets a quick two there, to the back. Almost had the pen. And Swigert fights off. 5-0. A minute to go. 5-1. A little single. Ankle pick. Tries to go back to the back. 
Gets that same ankle. 9 2. 20 seconds to go, first period. Tied dual meet score. We got 52, 60, and 70 still to go, so three matches. All right, nine two is our score. Second period just starting. Twenty two twenty two dual meet score. We're at one fifty two. We're going to end at one seventy. Shot by Swigert. Swigert tries a gator roll. Doesn't work. Gives up the two. Make it eleven to two. Eleven two is our score here. All right, we got eleven three now. Stalling on field. Shot by Girardi. No point yet. 20 seconds. There's two and back. Go oh, there it is. All right. Gonna make it 28-22. That's gonna be hard for Phil to overcome right there. They're gonna have to win this match. I know their 170 is a pinner, but he can he can only make up six points. All right, we're gonna have I don't. It looks like we got Jordan for field and Coleman. Is this is this Jordan for field? Coleman. Jordan. Jordan. Okay. I know Coleman. Coleman's only a junior or sophomore, and he's he's tough. State ranked kid. All right, 28-22 is our dual score. There's a shot by Coleman. Two O's our score, minute and 11 to go, first period. Coleman over Jordan. Coleman in a gray from Crestwood. Coleman gets in a boot, going for a power half. Stand up, Coleman gets, mm, I don't know, did he get any back? He got two back there. 4-0, trying to tilt. Now 
And uh, Jordan fighting. It's going to be the end of the period. It's going to be 4-0. Coleman over Jordan. A lot of action here. Starting to get a little bit rough, I think. Four O's are score. Coleman over Jordan. 28-22 third dual score. Second period, a minute to go. Getting a little bit rough here. All right, it's going to make it 5 0 penalty point. Coleman gets a double. Oh my God. <laughs> Almost had it. Third period, 5 0. There's a shot by Coleman. Nothing. No shot. Jordan's keeping the pace up. Down 5 0, minute and a half to go. Second, third period. Double leg by Coleman. He picks him up. He takes his time and does what you're supposed to do and to the back. All right, that's going to make it 10 0. Tilt try, he's getting the back. Oh, he is close to the pin, I don't know. Boy, that's a tough one there. Gonna make it 13-1. 
The fuel kit isn't quitting, I gotta tell that given that. He's trying something and it doesn't work. We'll make it 15-1. 15-2. They're looking for a tech here. Arm drag, double leg, nothing yet, he gets back. Well, boy, he could have kept on going to get that pin there, but he gave it up and just took the tech. All right, we have Andy Eckhart for field here versus Josh Lawrence. For Crestwood, Josh Lawrence's dad is the famous Don Lawrence, who used to coach CBCA and retired this year. Start his own gym. I know Eckhart's a pinner. He went one and two, I think, maybe two and two at Top Gun. I know he at least went one and two. I seen Lawrence had a good win last night in their dual meets against the Aurora kids, so this might be a better match. Andy Eckhart's trying to throw. Looking to sell. Yes, them too. All right, well, Crestwood's going to win a dual meet here. It's 33-22 right now. There's no way they can lose. Good for them. They're gonna. That's just gonna make the dual meet tournament that much, or the the PTC, PTC tournament that much more excited. Eckhart trying for a takedown here. Got the cradle in. He just goes drops down to a single. Lawrence. Lawrence try the shot. That cart's got that cradle in, and does he get, he's still no takedown even yet. Lawrence is fighting it hard. There's two for the two takedown. That's all, he's no back points yet. Oh, he's got that leg up. Lawrence is fighting it hard. There's some back. A good fight by Lawrence. Uh, we have uh, blood time, I think. Nope. Okay, potentially dangerous. 5-0. Well, Eckhart's looking tough. He's a junior, I think. I don't think he's a sophomore. Looking good. Some someone to watch at the PTC tournament. Same with Lawrence. So we'll see all these guys again in a couple weeks. With a lot of other tough kids. Within a week. February 2nd. A week and a half. <laughs> yeah, the season's just flying by. Okay, Lawrence has to the top. Eckhart's on bottom. Stands up. There's make it six zero. -oh. Nice double leg. Seven zero. -oh. Eight zero. -oh. All right, that card's got that cradle locked up again. Yeah, I don't know if he got any back or not. No back. I've seen the count of one.
There's, there's that cradle, and it's going to be... Close. 40 seconds to go, second period. There's the pen. All right. That's going to make our dual meet score 33-28. Remember, six, three points deducted from Crestwood. But still, all in all, what an exciting dual meet, Jim. It was. It was well worth it. <coughs> all right, folks. I think next week we're probably going to be at Coventry. Wednesday. On Wednesday night. Coventry will have to wrestle Norton and then CVCA. If, if we're gonna have to make sure we get permission. If not, we'll be at Richtown, because they have Jackson Milton. And Jackson Milton upset the number two seeded Manchester last week. And I read it in a paper where they said they're ready for Richtown and they're gonna beat them. <laughs> so, be a good one. <coughs> it could be. All right, folks. Sign off. Sign off, uh, we will see you next week. Keep watching and start advertising.